what's up YouTube another episode of shuffle does some automotive work today we're going to be redoing the rear brakes on a 2017 Ford Escape oh yeah those look nice so after you get the tire off you're going to want to locate the slides that the brake caliper rides along located on the back right here and there's two of them and all you need to do is remove those rubber caps on the back so once you remove those covers uh, you'll gain access to an allen head bolt that the caliper slides on okay so if you're unfamiliar with some of the terminology let's go through some of the pieces parts okay so this is your brake caliper this is your brake pad these are the slide bolts and this is your rotor and a spring retainer. So go ahead and find a metric set of Allen wrenches and a seven millimeter will fit. Find those Allen heads that you just opened up access to from those rubber caps and go ahead and loosen them. All right, now you want to just take a regular flat blade screwdriver and pop off that spring retainer and then use that again to pry off the brake caliper. Again, this is a brake caliper piece you'll be taking off. I like to use a piece of wire to support it so it's not stressing the brake lines. Now that the caliper's out of the way, the left and right side pad can just easily slip right out. Notice the difference between the two. One has a spring on top. Now in order to take off the rotor, you need to remove the caliper bracket, which is this guy right here, and you can use a 15 millimeter socket to break those loose. So after you finally get those two bolts out and take the bracket off, tap on the back side of the rotor and it should break loose and fall right off. So at this point I like to take the old and the new and compare them to make sure whatever the parts guy gave me is the actual right piece. If you got the right part, great. Give it a good thorough spray down with some brake cleaner. Now that it's nice and clean, go ahead and put the new rotor on the hub. And I like to twist on at least one lug nut just to keep it in place while everything is being aligned and installed. The final step before you can start reassembling everything is you need to compress the brake caliper and the rear that include a parking brake has to be pushed and turned at the same time. So I would suggest renting or purchasing a brake caliper rewind toolkit. This will come with a thrust bolt, both left and right, a retainer plate, and a disc adapter for many different makes and models. So for this kit that I got off of Amazon, I need to use disc 7, which aligns perfectly to the imprints on the caliper. And go ahead and align the retainer to where the outer brake pad fits and start twisting and turning as this pushes in the caliper. Okay, so on the new pads, you can see the one with the spring goes in the back, 
and that nub at the bottom center is what lines into the notch that is on the piston. I like to put some brake lubricant on a lot of the moving parts, so the slides that the brake pads ride on on the caliper bracket, as well as where the piston and the caliper clamp onto the brake pad. All right, now that you got the clip back on, go ahead and spray her good with some more brake cleaner. Make sure everything is nice and clean. And then you can put the tire back on and take it for a test drive. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave comments down below. Thanks.